Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to our whole night let's play, and, uh, hopefully, um, I've said in the title, we're going to be starting the Grim Troop quest, uh, I probably haven't said that, however, I've very easily, uh, completed the Grim Troop quest before, and it's very easy to do it again, Considering that we're not going to be uh, doing the battle with one of the hardest um, bosses in the game. Even harder than the final boss, um, in my opinion. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Ah. Um, so... Uh... The Grim Troop quest starts in some place, uh, it's, I believe, before the place where we started off, uh, Hollow, our Hollow Knight adventure, or on this channel at the very least. Um, so if we go to the place where we fell down, and I was upside down... Um, here we are. This is what it looks like. Re really odd to be saying that on the seventh episode, but oh well. Um, so this, um, place, uh, if we, we needed the Mantis Claw to get up here, not only just to get back to this area, but also to climb this wall. And I'm not sure if you need the double jump, but you do need the Dream Nail to uh, summon the Grim Troop. Um, so, yeah. Uh, here is the Howling Cliffs. Um, and... The last episode we got the Dream Nail, I featured it very promis prominently in the title. Um, and that's going to be useful not only because now we can see one of the best characters, Gorb! <laughs> I am Gorb! Bow, 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 bow to Gorb! <laughs> Gorb! The great man! I am Gorb! Ascend! 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 Ascend with Gorb! Yeah, sure, why not? Oh. Okay, so. Oh, hold on. I forgot to turn up the audio. Gorb is amazing. However, he is a lot easier when you have the spell which allows you to shoot upwards. But, eh. Ow. Uh. But the warrior dream fights are really just hurling uh, various uh, items at your face in hopes that you'll miraculously die. Now, in the case of Markov, he does that to great effect. Uh, as in, he can bring pain. Yeah, we are. Uh, we're going to need to get the bench. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's only one bench in the Howling Cliffs because it's such a small area. Um, and that uh, is the house of one of the Nail Masters. Uh, sorry, I have a bad case of the hiccups. So. Uh, uh, now, uh, but, but, 
Okay, I'm going to stop recording until I can work out these hiccups. Be right back. Okay, so what I was going to say before uh, I got the hiccups was that uh, the only uh, bench I believe in the Howling Cliffs is that of the house of Nailmaster Oro, I believe, or Oro, I believe. Um, I know that uh, there's one Kingdom's Edge um, who needs money, one in Green Path who is Shio who paints a lot, and is, I think, uh, gay. Maybe. Uh, but he gets along really well with, uh, the Nailsmith. Really, really well. Oh, creepy clown music. Or circus, or... I don't know. Gorb, where have you hidden my shade? There you are, Jesus! Come on, you're gonna be late for... A tuba practice. Uh, and here we are. The house of, I believe, Marto. Hmm. Hey there! Hmm. Yeah, it's Marto. Oh, it's Marto. Ah, well. Yes, I thought I had a sense of aura of a fierce warrior approaching. I'm impressed you found my sanctuary here on top of the world. No doubt you've endured many trials to, and overcome many foes in your quest to find me. Well, I really just need to defeat Gorb. Really? Yeah. Okay, then. What he said. So, uh... Now, if we... Wait, Cyclone Slash? Oh, right. Your form. Exquisite. Now I know how my own master felt. Should I? Uh, have I already said this? Uh, but, uh... If I have or haven't, I'll probably see after this video comes out. Uh, and, Ed, you know, Ed, to me, can you say uh, the answer to that question? C uh, have I already said in one of my earlier videos um, that uh, Blank is the master of the Nail Masters? But, oh well, Gorb. Attempt to with a full mask bar. I don't e like I have like warrior dreams hang around in the air. I have a uh, like the tier one uh, spell, which is like basically expected at this point in the game, considering uh, that I have the dash and you need uh, the green or. You need to enter Green Path to get the dash, and to enter Green Path, you need Vengeful Spirit. But I also have the down spell, and that's not going to be very helpful when the. Actually, wait a minute. Ow! Don't snipe me! Gob! Gob, stop sniping! Gob, no sniping! Gorb! Gorb, stop it! Gorb! Oh, God. One, two, three. Three. It's all about learning Gorb's patterns. If you can just, if you have the ability to sidestep, then you've mastered this fight. By the 
anyway, why do the dream the warrior dreams deal contact damage? Aren't they ghosts? Uh, for those who don't know, uh, um, contact damage is when you hit an enemy and uh, you uh, take damage. Uh, obviously, the one dream boss called Mamu, which in has an entire um, attack uh, thing of, hey, I bounce around at you with a ping pong match style gameplay. That's basically it. They're an exception. But, like, Ma... Uh, not Marta, what am I saying? Like, zero... Uh, yada, 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 send with gold. And though, like... Zero and Markoth, I've talked about them, I know I've talked about them because I've made a couple of jokes about how they can get mixed up, and you don't want to mix them up. Especially in, uh, the final boss rush challenge of the game, where basically you just have to battle every single boss in the game without dying. Uh, but, um, they shouldn't deal contact damage. Uh, this one warrior dream called Elder Who shouldn't deal contact. None of them should deal contact damage. Okay, uh. Ooh, Gorb is dead! Oh my god, we've spent 12 minutes learning Cyclone Slash and defeating Gorb. I am Gorb, the great mind, the pain, ascend, ascend, I am Gorb. <laughs> And for the great price of 100 essence. Then again, we can return to uh, the sea at any time now. But still, let's get on with actually doing the dream or the uh, grim quest. Ah. Yeah. Because, as I've already said, we've. We're 12 minutes into this episode, and we've gotten, like, the least, or, like, the second use, uh, nail art on the scale of usefulness, and defeated Gorb. Oh, Quarnifus here. <clears throat> Enjoy this bracing air. We're quite close to Hellness borders, and those desolate plains that surround it in this direction. I'm about as far as I'm willing to go, though it's quite pleasant change from the tight confines of the caverns. I've drawn a small map for the area. It's a simple one, more for completion, really. Not knowing the full extent of a region can be quite frustrating. And since it's really small... We get it for an extremely small price. Stonks. Uh, I wish I could, uh, like, put the memes where I use them in my videos. Except I can't do that because, like, I edit my own videos. I don't have the budget to hire an editor and it's quite the hassle, really. Only... Only real uh, pro to it is you get to say thanks to my editor. Um, but anyway, higher beings, these were that essentially says if you go out here, then you then your consciousness will be deadificated. All that for a wonders? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. There's a second thing behind the thing. Wow. Ooh, hand. 
Ooh, hand, hand. Oh, I'm getting flashbacks already. Twang. That's why we needed the dream nail so we can bludgeon this one bug. And now. Hey. Gods. Gods of the fire. Are you watching this? I just realized that. I'm trying to think of something to realize. I am Gorb. I am Gorb. I am Gorb. Oh. Neat. That won't be anything at all concerning. Actually, wait. We have a path to green path. It's really not... I don't know. I'm just going to return to that mouth and, well, you'll see what happens. Ooh, thud. Alright, so, um, a couple of things, uh, first of all, uh, I just wanted to let you know, or the zero people who will be watching based on, uh, my previous videos, um, uh, so, uh, I will actually not be doing a Grim cosplay. Uh, I'll explain why in the next video, which will contain the Grim cosplay, obviously. But anyway. Ah, it's nice to return to green. Oh. It speaks for itself, really. The massive tent in the middle of green. Oh. The road. I don't know. So, uh. So yeah, instead of a lamppost, there's a massive tent and a slightly smaller tent. This smaller tent contains Divine. She eats people. And in here, there's Brum. He doesn't eat people, but he's really going to shine in this playthrough. Not my last one, though. Hmm. You called us. Speak to the master. When flame burns bright in one's mind, can he at the call cross lands in time? Is your accordion a lot? And here, we meet Grim. Drum roll, please, for the one, the only, Night Mackey. Uh, hold on. Nightmare King! There he is. So, it was you who called us. Well met, my friend, well met. I am Grim, master of this troop. The lantern has been lit, and your summons heeded. A fine stage you choose. This kingdom followed by worm and root. Perfect earth upon which our ritual shall take place. You're a lot more yellow up close. And you, my friend, your part is not far from over. As the lantern fled, your role was cast. Our compact written in scarlet fire. Here go we are to see you commence, but first... Some illumination is required. Grimchild. Uh, oh, Grimchild's gone. Across my land, my kin now spread, harvesting that essence peculiar to my breed. The flame in the dream. Seek my kin, claim their flame, and return it to me. Together, marvels will be achieved.
But don't fret, small one, for this task you won't travel alone. My child shall guide you into the flame, gather within itself that burning essence. Like you, the child plays a key role in the task. Only with it by your side will the flame and my kin reveal themselves to you. See you later, chumps. Hmm. The flame. Seek it out. For my master. For the child. For the kin. Alright, folks. Oh! I forgot. Dirt mouth. Oh, elder bug in the funny little pose. Oh, look over there! Something strange and sinister has suddenly appeared. Oh, it fills me with dread. I think it best not to be. I ignore it. Why must these grotesque strangers intrude on our peaceful little home? Something seems uh, to make me uncomfortable. And they've even set up signs. Rude. Anyway, time to meet the second and by far the best. Oh, right. By far the best. Uh, what is it? Um, summoning charm. Grim child. Oh yeah, I forgot. In my complete save file, uh, he's a lot more helpful, and actually is the reason why I've 111%ed the game. Um, but aside from that, right now he's a little, little baby. Uh, but anyway, um, so the flames are in Crystal Peaks. Green Path and City of Tears. Uh, I think we should start with Crystal Peaks, then work our way around. I think, like, clockwise, maybe? Yeah, clockwise. Damn, at this point, I'm used to having both the Grimchild and uh, the Crossroads being covered in orange. Um, though, uh, honestly, uh, I think that this episode should be longer because, uh, this is going to contain, I hope, the, um, three, fl uh, beginner flames, but, uh, I believe that, uh, we should head into the crystal caves start. Oh, uh, wait, wait. What a meaning in darkness! Yet here I remain. I'll wait here forever till the light blooms again. Wait, this isn't supposed to happen yet. No, Grimchild, did you do this? What? Ha! Huh. So, to those who don't know, Mila has three phases. The first one is the one we saw in the first episode. The second one is... Huh? But the second one is, um, that one. But that's not supposed to happen until either we complete our first streamer or get the moth wit or get double jumping. That's weird. Huh. Okay, so Crystal Peaks. Um so that slight confusion aside, um Crystal Peaks is um is 
like, the gradients is pink. It has a lot of it. Uh, because these crystals, if I'm not mistaken, contain, uh, soul. Um, oh, by the way, uh, in, I believe, my, uh, third episode, maybe? Uh, I said that Ogrim was the guy who the false knight stole their armor off. In reality, Ogrim is the Dung Defender. A guy whose whole thing is being a loyal friend. And he likes Dung. For some reason. But, uh, anyway. Uh, sorry for that very major misconception. Uh, ah! Uh, I promise it hopefully won't happen again. Uh, I have, um, I still don't know, uh, the uh, False Knight Armor Dude's name, but I do, uh, know about, um, the, uh, the names of the two, uh, legendary knights who survive. Legendary knights being like the A love the S tier knights who are like the King's Brigade. Oh Uh how much time do we have? Oh god, it's twenty six minutes. I think we should make this one of the longer episodes. Oh by the way, I'm not ashamed of killing the ing the miners here because then they don't sing. Okay, um, I feel like that's self-explanatory. They don't have, they don't have the vocal cords. Oh god, it's the womps. Tuck, 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 yeet. Tuck, 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 yeet. Oh god. Uh... Okay, um, I know we have, like, what, 28 minutes? Uh, 27 minutes, but come on, there's a grub there! Uh, so, we're doing a platforming segment. Never mind. What's this? Oh. Uh, bah! Wait, can I reach that with my nail? Oh god. Oh well. Should probably equip some nail lengthening charms to get in there. Oh well. Uh, so far the Grimchild is useless, consider- ah, We're not yet- no we're not near the kin yet. So, uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, Elbow Bug's completely used to the Nightmare Circus in his town now, which is surprisingly quick. Uh, but anyway. Um, let's get back to where we were, and yeah. I'll uh, tell you if anything interesting happens. Uh, can I? Okay, so uh, I'm getting sidetracked, but I'm gonna complete this. Uh, and I don't care how long it takes. It's not taking that long, actually. Uh! Okay. Uh. Oh God. Da <laughs> No, no, no. Okay, so now, uh, okay, uh, okay, uh, I'm just gonna cut until I do it. Okay, uh, I'm at one health, but, uh, my greed is getting the better of me. Yeah, no, no, we're just going to continue on. Maybe we can find, like, a soul gauge, maybe? 
heal off of. Sorry, Grub, you'll have to find another way. Okay, a uh, separate plan. We're going to get the shade and then do that extremely hard parkour course. What? How much? Okay, uh, we have 30 minutes. If we're going to uh, either do the Crystal Peaks or do at least one of the Grim Troop Peeps, then we're going to have to, um, I don't know, maybe add some momentum. Mementos, yeah. Gonna add some mementos to our coke, and then we're gonna drink it, and maybe bathe it in alcohol. Don't do this at home, kids, or anywhere really. In fact, it maybe bad enough. I like how as soon as I get into like the presence of them they're like oi there's an asparagus in our midst a crispy one i look really derpy when i'm like on the conveyor belt mm. oh i landed on it oh yeah, this is going to be hard, considering that uh, the Crystal Peaks are nothing but kind of just uh, enemies who can yeet stuff to enemies who uh, can emanate stuff. <gasps> okay, uh, if the map, like, pieces are to be believed, go on if it's here. Come to scale the mountain, yada yada. Oh god damn it. Can I pogo off these? No, I cannot. Understandable, have a nice day. Okay, so uh this is certainly not where uh I need to go. So I'm going to go another place. Presumably a place where I do need to go. Do, do. Ooh! You run like bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm unequipping you until I can find something better to do. Or something better in general. Oh god! Oh dear, 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 dear. Uh. So, um. I was debating on whether I should equip Spell Twist or not, because, um, so I believe, so Spell Twister, so basically, uh, a basic soul gauge without any modifications, it has a, a soul percentage of, I believe, 99, uh, casting spells or healing costs 33, uh, if you have spell twister the cost of spells is decreased from 20 th from 33 to 24 um and this uh is going to be up and i was wondering so um this uh, dying means that your soul gate gets split in, in half and that means that um, instead of having 99, it has, I believe, 50, uh, like, price, or holding, I guess. Uh, and I was wondering, um, like, would it be worth it? I mean, I'm barely casting spells anyway, but then again, that's probably because I have half of the soul gauge. So, should I or should I not? I don't know. 
all I know is that it's been a long while since I've even been to the Crystal Peaks, let alone done one of these platforming challenges. Barely call them challenges, though. Okay. Okay, uh, not sure where I, uh, dropped it off. But, um, just to recap, I just defeated the Crystal Guardian. He was extremely easy, and I got this bench. I'm not equipping Grimchild yet, because he doesn't do anything. Uh, but, you know what? Let's go double-check, um the uh what was it um the flame locations uh so um we're here which means probably i think so but i all the other groom child phases has like a sleeping animation where if you sit on the bench for too long it'll just curl up and sleep I don't think the baby one has one, actually. Which is, uh, really weird. Ah! And it'd be really cute if it did. Which makes it extremely disappointing that it does not. Ah! What's this? The shopkeeper's key? Oh! Uh, the shopkeeper's key, um, is a key to Sly's, uh, back room. No, not the back rooms, his back room. And this essentially allows you to get more stuffs. Which is really good, because Sly's nearly getting out of, uh, stock. Wait. Where were we going again? Right, right, we were going to get a corner for, but, uh... We were at Hallowness Crown? Oh, hey, girl. Ah, quite a view, no? I'm surprised you've survived the trek through these shimmering caverns. There's an air strength around you. I'd suspect it would be quite intimidating if not for your small stature. Are you calling me short? I mean, I am up to his non-existent neck, so... Hmm. Oh, by the way, this way goes up to nothing. Wouldn't it be, like, crazy if there was a DLC which allowed you to go above, like, Hallow Nest? Uh, I just feel like that'd be crazy, not gonna lie. And hey, if uh, anyone's up to uh, making it, uh, how about do it? I'm praising myself, f if you couldn't tell. Uh, I'm making, like, this, uh, I'm making a concept for a fan-made DLC, uh, where, like, you can go above Hallow Nest. Wait, is this where we got the crystal dash? Uh, okay, uh, I definitely need the crystal dash to get over there. Okay, um, I'm not, I, we're certainly not at the crystal dash location, but we're pretty dang close to it. Uh, I'm, like, checking my recording every, like, couple of minutes, and I'm like, I, is, is it turned off yet? Do I have to start it all over again? And then I realize, oh, wait, either it's not, and it probably won't be for a while, or it's been like that for several minutes, and you've just stopped recording on some of the most vital parts of the playthrough. Imagine if it stopped recording while we were getting the super dash. Oh god. Okay. Uh. So we're at like 34. Oh god. My footage. Okay. Sorry, everyone. Uh. Apparently, the reason why. Uh. My footage kept on stopping was because this one uh, WhatsApp uh, group I'm in, uh, they, like, are really active. And by really active, I mean, like, really, really omega. Oh, God. Oh, God. <sighs> Sorry about that, everyone. I have just come back from deleting, like, 
half of the things on my phone. Uh, not the first time I've said that, and hopefully, oh, probably not the last. Uh, because, uh, apparently, um, I have ran out of, I had ran out of space on my phone. So, with the help of several lemon-flavored Oreo-style biscuits, I, um, I managed to solve it. That's all you need to solve your problems. Lemon-flavored Oreo rip-offs. Because these aren't Oreo biscuits, they're like custard cream, like two custard creams on top of each other in like lemon filling. Why do you spawn here? Eh, I'm not complaining. You're right next to a soul gate as well. Yeah, oh, God. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I have just had to clean out my entire phone, and not in, like, the relaxing way, like, how spring cleaning can sometimes be therapeutic. No, I'm talking, like, I had to search for hours. Like, I started, uh, thus, um, I started the search, it, like, oh, this is the Crystal Dash location. Yay! Mm. Crystal Heart. You can eat yourself around the room. Yay. Mm. But I started, like, searching for stuff. It, like, I don't know, like, eight-ish? Uh, it's currently... 7.47 Oh god Hello grub Oh god mm. So Next spot on our map oh. On our trip Is to get a map Then complete that the slammy slammy blammy a uh, place eh. mm. I don't really know how to go or where to go I don't care anymore I've got my lemon snacks, and that's all I need. I've also been watching this playthrough on, like, this 3D horror, or live-action horror game. Uh, I highly recommend it. It's extremely good. It's, like, about this girl... And she's stuck in this hotel with a serial killer, who's like a psychopath. And there's these ghosts, and she has to figure out what, like, the ghosts have been through. Starting with, like, a little girl, and then ending off with, like, the, o with, like, the psychopath's mother. So, so, so it's like Dr. Phil, but a lot more murdery. But anyway, highly recommend it. Uh, look, I said this 
this video wasn't made for kids. If you're, or uh, you, you can't excuse me for talking about horror games, okay? Mm. But I'm not sure how to do this. Ba 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 ba. Like. I think I should go, like, when the outer parts are going up. Ooh, ooh, let's go! A lot of worrying. Oh, God. Anyway, next stop is back to the bench, then to Cornifer, then to the, uh kin and then out of this place I believe you have to pay to get dash last by the way completely irrelevant but yeah Oh, Quirrell's gone. Quirrell's yeeted himself from the astral plane. Or something or another. By the way, I believe you need a double jump to get up there. There. Uh, but, mm, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Hmm? What's this tube? Hmm. And oh, God. Ah, meh. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. Okay, um, uh, there's an elevator which, uh, we, um, which leads to dirt mouth. Uh, yeah. And it's uh, f from the Crystal Peaks to dirt mouth. So we should go there. Uh, ah, equip Grim Child, because I believe uh, the Grimkin is somewhere around this area. But I'm not certain. Oh well. Um, <clears throat> this uh, location contains I either the quick focus or the deep focus charm, and also this guy. <laughs> yeah, you can choose this guy by just camping out on the wall. Really, I just wanted to break his cage in order to show you the fact that he was a fake. And no, he's not like an infected grub or something. Because otherwise, he, that grub would be infected. And also, they wouldn't be in a cage to begin with. Because the, the little critters are in cages to stop them from getting uh, infectoided. Hey. No crystals. Ow. No crystals wait is there a third one? Oh, never mind that was just cracking on their own okay let me tell oh god um it's like 40 minutes in okay uh it's either quick focus or deep focus can't tell but either way um, is it he? No, no, not there. It's, 
Is this even where you find the deep focus or quick focus charm? I don't think so. Now, ah, well, at least we found a grub. And an um, imposto. Yay! Conk. Ow. Hey there, Bretta. So if we equip the Grim Child charm and go here. Yeah, it's there. Let's go get it. Oh by the way, we need to get the maps. Ba banada. Crystal Peaks and Kiz Why Not Wayward Compass. I'm never going to use this. This is for only, uh, this is for like only shot or completion percentage uh, reasons. Baby Grim Child wants to be seen as a human. So he sits on the elevator like a human would, except he fails miserably while being absolutely adorable. Yet, yeah. he's not cute when he has Grim crammed into him. Yeah, I'm not feeling bad for spoiling that, considering that it's, it's not even going to be revealed. We're doing the banishment ending, but- OW! As you can see, a flame appears that was not there before. In that flame lies the will and determination of the grim troop. Hey. These are like the cousins. Ow! Like, those annoying cousins who you have to meet up at Thanksgiving with because they're family. But you just find them really stinking annoying. Ow! Ow! Can you not run on into me? I usually do these fights with every single uh, upgrade added to my arsenal. So usually this is a, a heck of a lot easier. But now I have four charm slots. I barely have enough space for shaman stone. And frankly, not enough space at all to for the charm which allows you to do the full ending or true ending because that charm is five charm slots for like charging soul i'd expect that for like a ch three slaughter at best Like it could be cut. Oh, I thought I'd die. So anyway, um, so yeah, this little guy gets grim shoved into him, and his eyes become like red, and he gains ah oh, god damn it, he gains this enormous damage boost, and frankly, it's really great. Um. Because, uh, the reason why I like him so much, I explained this briefly earlier in the episode, hopefully, but, um, when I was doing the third pantheon, I was, uh, having trouble with the final boss, the, f the great nail sage, um, and I was... On one mask, I was about to die. Smudge. 
when all of a sudden, Grimchild spits a raging ball of fire and he dies. It's remarkable. But anyway, I actually have that plushie now. Uh, just to end off the um, episode, and I think I can actually in uh, play like accordion music for the end credits. I think I should show you like the resemblance. Hold on. I was like, uh, when I saw this last, I took one look at this and I said, I want that in my house. And now, I have that in my house. He is chilling out in a hammock with Undertale and Deltarune characters for some reason. Um, and actually, while we're at it with a live action segment, so and so, um, I just wanted to say, um, I've changed my Grim cosplay to a whole.